What's going on YouTube? So today we got a pretty exciting video. Um, literally just got this massive box in the post and obviously it's a new bike. So we're gonna open it up, um, see what's inside and yeah, hopefully film a nice little unboxing and build video for you. Let's get into it. So we got some scissors. Let's open this baby up. Wow. So let's stop messing around and let's actually get her out of the box, see what she looks like, and uh, admire the beauty of this bike. So let's open this baby up. Imagine if I dropped it now. Wow. Look at that. That's the least travel I've ever had on a bike, I think. What's that, 30 mil, something like that? I'm actually in awe of this bike. Never in my wildest dreams would I ever think I would have a bike this nice. It's got electric gears. So here it is. It is the Specialized S-Works Stump Jumper Evo in S4 size. And I'm not trying to flex, but the retail price, 9,250 quid. That's the most expensive bike I've ever had in my whole life. Got to start off by saying a massive thank you to Specialized UK for sending me out this ridiculous bike. Um, I actually can't believe that it's mine. I can't believe that it's sat here in my living room. Fully top spec build, like ridiculous build. In one of my favorite colorways ever as well, the raw carbon. But yeah, I'm so excited to ride it already. Um, but before that, we need to get it built up. And at the moment, it's still got a few parts on it that I need to swap out. So let's stop talking rubbish and let's start putting some of my sponsor's parts on this bike and building it up. Let's get into that. So I just found this in the box that it came with and it's a SRAM battery charger, which is so surreal. Battery here and battery here because I've got electric dropper posts and electric gears. So I'm gonna have to get into the mindset of charging up not only my e-bike, but now my electric parts on my normal bike. Interesting world, interesting world. Technology! So here's the parts we're gonna be putting on the bike. We've got a Gusset SM saddle. We've got Gusset S2 pedals, and then a Gusset S2 40mm rise 780mm bar, and a Gusset S2 50mm stem, S2 ultra soft grips, and then we've got a pair of Halo Vortex wheels um, with Kush Core inserts inside. So all of these Halo and Gusset parts have actually come off my white Specialized Enduro, which was the first Specialized bike that I got. I'm gonna be giving that back to Specialized in return for this bike. So I'm sort of doing a little swap -a Um But it means that all of the parts match my Enduro and not this. So for example, I've got green Halo Vortex stickers on here, as you can see. But also, as you can see, there's not really any green on this bike. So I've ordered some bronze Halo Vortex decals and I've got some grey ones upstairs as well. So I think I'm going to do a little bronze and grey ting on this, which should be cool. So I guess let's start by de-stickering these Halo wheels, um, taking these green stickers off, uh, getting them ready to put the bronze ones on. So let's do that first. Uh oh, I ripped it. So there's the before, and there's the after. Managed to get all of the Halo and Kush Core decals off of my wheels, uh, ready to put the bronze ones on when they arrive. But yeah, I guess the next step is I'm gonna take the stock wheels off of the bike. Uh, I'm gonna take the rotors and the cassette off those wheels, put the rotors and cassette on these wheels, and then put these wheels on the bike. These are the little 
things you get on a 9,000 pound bike. Can you read that? It says, good luck and good racing. I don't know who that's signed by, but I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. My mind has just been blown. I've just used this um, SRAM AXS gearing for the first time and it makes like little mouse squeaking noises when it shifts, it's crazy. Let me show you. <laughs> it's too funny, man. I don't know if you can see it, but I literally just cut my finger. You're so stupid! So yeah, let's put the wheels on the bike now and uh, see what it looks like. And then we've got to put all the gusset component stuff on after that. Let's go! Even without the bronze decals, they still look pretty sick, pretty stealthy. One wheel on. Wow. Oh my God. So we put the wheels on, the wheels look insane, the bike's looking insane, but Next, I think it's time to address the fork. So, got my shock pump and we're gonna pump up this bad boy. There she goes. So the next part we're going to be putting on is this Gusset S2 SM saddle. Jesus! And in with the new. Oh yeah, that looks good. New saddle looking spicy. Cool, so now we just got to do pedals, which will be super easy, probably leave that till last. And handlebars and stem. Let's just appreciate how sick this is. You have a quick link stored in your headset. That's ridiculous. And the SWAT tool in your headset. All right, let's take this stem and bar off and put the gusset stuff on. So I've got the new handlebar and stem on now and uh, all that's left to do is put the pedals on. Gonna flip the bike over, put them on and then she'll be done. To everyone that hosed me in the last bike build video about not using grease, look at that. We're using grease this time. So don't comment it yeah, because I've got it on me. Job done. So yeah, here it is, my brand new 2021 Stumpy Evo S-Works 29er. Wow, what a machine. Big shout out to Specialized UK, Halo Wheels, Gusset Components, and Kushcore for making this build possible. I'm sure I'll have a few more in-depth videos about this bike in uh, the coming weeks, but yeah, she's a machine. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, whatever, and uh, thanks for watching. 
and hopefully catch you in the next one. See you later. Literally just got this really special delivery for a special little boy, that's me. I hate my life! <laughs>